Hello family, what is going on? Welcome to the channel. I am Deborah. This is Purusha Intuitive and we're looking at the energy for the week for you. So welcome, welcome. I really appreciate you taking the time to stop by. Thank you for all the love and support to the channel always. Definitely make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. It just keeps you up to date on everything that's happening over in these parts. <laughs> I am, uh, we are doing some, we, I am like <laughs> doing some changes, um, you know, implementing uh, more of the holistic wellness content. So definitely stay tuned for that. It should be popping up within the next couple, uh, next week or so. All right, um, yeah, so what's going on right now? Okay, we just came from that full, or the new moon, sorry. I don't know where I'm at right now. <laughs> Let me ground. We came from the new moon in Gemini. Um, you know, really great for communication, new beginnings, putting yourself out there in a different kind of way, in a way that you love to do, Leo. Um, it's, it's also good to be really cognizant about who's in our environment, who we're giving our time and our energy to, because there are like these, I don't know, energy vampires, however you want to say it, like mm, toxic, unhealthy, low vibey people that are trying to like dominate, control, um, use the upper hand, so to speak. So be really conscious of that, especially if someone is coming after you in a way that's like evoking all this passion. I'm not shaming it. I don't think it's like a bad thing. If it's something that feels right for you, definitely go for it. But this could, I, I keep hearing it as someone who knows how to push this button with you. Um, yeah, the runner. There we go. <laughs> and that's confirmation. So it's like the back, the forth, right? The passion comes from the in and out. It's, um, you know, when you're in that runner chaser vibe, it's like, you know, you, the high is coming together and, oh, I love you so much. You're declaring all these things, right? But then as soon as that honeymoon phase is over, things start going way downhill, right? And that's when this person pieces out. So you might have been dealing with this person a lot in the past. If this is someone new for you, definitely make sure to vet them. I'm all about having a good time, enjoying opportunities, passionate gifts that come your way, but then also really be able to assess it for what it truly is. This is actually where your power is coming from. I feel like this is going to be a very powerful week for you, Leo. This is basically saying that, like, I feel like you're in a dynamic when, with someone who's either trying to suck you in, trying to make you look at things in a way that's not really true, not really reality. And honestly, that definitely aligns with the um, astrological energy right now. If you keep up this energy of self-indulgence, um, you know, it's, it's going to, it's going to kind of encourage, you know, whether the person knows it or not, it's going to encourage that dynamic, that energetic exchange, right? If you're calling in someone who can't be faithful, who can't be committed, who uses that runner chaser vibe, that really is like emotional manipulation, you know? They don't necessarily have to be aware of it. Most people aren't, you know? Um, they're just kind of going by, well, this scares me, so I'm not gonna deal with this, I'm gonna run away. Or they approach the situation just wanting a certain thing from you. And it might feel good, but I think honestly, like the more you're focusing on yourself this week, the more you're giving yourself that love, that care, uh, that's the other side of self-indulgence when we do it in a positive way, in a healthy way. It actually gives rise to these complete new beginnings. I feel for some of you, you're cutting off the past. You're completely letting it go, Leo, so that you can have this rebirth, you know? And I feel like this rebirth is aligning you with exactly what you want. Uh, friendship energy. So dealing with someone who you look at as a friend or maybe this is community, kind of getting some feedback, 
um, from those that are in your environment. We have two threes that pop up right away. So this really speaks to working with others, you know, working on a team. Also seeing what kind of happens when you do so, right? Like what are your results that you're getting? Ace of Pentacles, that's such a beautiful energy. I love this. It's basically saying that you do have people around you that are willing. Even if it's not what you see like in your connections right now, like I was talking about, that Gemini energy is super perfect to kind of, you know, spread your wings, you know, explore new horizons, meet new people. Um, I do feel like this is actually, it's a huge shift. I keep hearing that. Like, this is like life-changing transformation. As, because it's, I feel like you've learned a lesson. I feel like you're overcoming this really huge obstacle five of pentacles not feeling and you're not feeling it right so the five of pentacles is when we're feeling left out or we feel like someone's not paying attention to us it is a little bit of a woe is me energy you know that things are changing right but it's like you still don't really know what's coming right what's what's on the horizon and i feel like that's why you're bummed out a little bit that definitely talks about this need to reignite this passion, you know? And I feel like this person that does come in is helping you do so, but in a different kind of way. It's actually igniting your passion from your empowerment, being able to put an end to things. Yeah, really tapping into this fortune, this abundance, the wheel, the wheel of fortune. I hear this as like, things are moving. It's a little bit behind the scenes this week. I feel like it's not until the end of this week, beginning of next week, that you start seeing the fruits of your labor. There's our third three. So we have three threes on the board. Again, that confirmation of really making sure that you, you kind of assess your environment. Who's in your environment? Are they willing to work with you? Are you getting that equal give and take, that reciprocity? I mean, relationships aren't always 50-50, right? Or very rarely are they. There's always someone kind of feeding in more. But the goal is to know that that's going to be reciprocated when the tides turn. So you're kind of just waiting to see on, on what comes up. The world is in, your, um, in the opposing energy. So this is complete abundance. Excuse me. Okay, six of cups. Yeah, there's that soulmate energy, guys. Um, I feel like for some of you, this is about leaving the past behind, letting go and releasing. For others, it's all, and, and I guess even in the same token, it's also about calling in this new soulmate energy. It does come through as a little bit stressful. So I feel like you guys are both mirroring each other. We see that a lot in relationships. Even if you don't know the person, it's all about the energy that we're emanating, right? So this person's stressed out too, you know? It's like, are they, is this relationship really going to come in? And like I said, it doesn't have to just be love. Uh, they're, they're struggling with their home environment, I feel like there's a lot going on. They're really just trying to keep things stable and grounded as well, is what I'm hearing for you. Um, so it's not that they're not going to manifest. I feel like they are. I feel like Spirit's really asking you this week to remain hopeful and, and know that it's, it's coming, right? Having faith, trust in the process. That was definitely a message in one of our weekend readings. So five of cups is a blocking energy. Again, we're, we're seeing this five of cups pretty much all across the board. It's, it's when we get too sucked into the past. Like, I'm so bummed it didn't work out. If only I would have. The shoulda, woulda, coulda. And really, it's not good to do that to yourself. A lot of times, things are just what they are. It's meant to play out that way, right? We're meant to, um, you know, just kind of navigate some of the harder things in life in order to learn lessons. And no matter how hard we would have tried, it wouldn't necessarily have gone the way that we wanted it to. I think it's actually a lie that you're telling yourself. Um, I don't mean that in a rude way. But with this Seven of Swords, it feels like you were dealing with someone 
who knew what they were doing, right? They knew how to trigger. They knew how to get a response out of you. They were being a bit of an a-hole, you know? Just all this vibe of like, yeah, just not really, um, like you couldn't really pay attention because all this stuff was constantly going on. This feels like someone that causes a lot of chaos, that stirs the pot often. Um, and I do feel like you're coming out of it. If anything, it shows that a lot this week. You might feel like you're losing hope, you know? It might feel a little bit cyclical, especially if this person is still in your environment or trying to talk to you. But honestly, I hear this as like, you are gonna finally put a stop to this cycle. And that's where this Phoenix energy is coming out of. You don't wanna be a part of it any longer, you know? Um, if, <laughs> if we're not aware and we keep in the same cycle over and over and over again, at some point it, it's enough, right? At some point we get tired of it or exhausted from it or we can't give that person or situation the same amount of energy because it's taking advantage of us. And that's really what spirit is asking you. Yeah, stepping into that Knight of Wands power. I love this for you, Leo, because he's the quickest knight in the deck. And what I was hearing is like, get the F out of there, <laughs> you know, really kind of rising above the disappointment, knowing this is just what it was. This is how it was meant to play out. It doesn't mean that you did something bad or wrong or, you know, like I said, because what you're manifesting is way more amazing, fabulous, <laughs> on point, abundant. It's more in alignment with who and what you are. And when we keep feeding into toxic energy, then we really struggle to kind of align with our ultimate desires. And our soul always knows what we deserve. Our soul always knows. No matter who you are, how bad of a person, you, you know, or, I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? Life is life. Um, it's all about our awareness, our ability to see and understand. And usually the people who are treating poorly, manipulating, running away, hiding, etc., they're just less aware, you know? Uh, not to justify bad behavior. <laughs> we are all responsible for the choices we make. Um, but this is like, I f this is amazing. This really talks, again, confirming this Phoenix rising energy for you. One, two, three, four is on the clock. So that growth, that evolution, that evolvement, I love that for you. And you know, you're like racing towards this abundance in this really strong and powerful way this week. I love this, Leo. Definitely drop comments. Let me know what this is. I want to hear how uh, dope the abundance is that comes in for you. So paying attention to your heart. Don't disregard it. You know, really kind of make sure that you're listening, that you're uh, feeling, sensing through things. Don't give, don't give someone too much of the benefit of the doubt. You know, if it's a repeated cycle, it's a repeated cycle. That's who they are. That's how they are, etc. We have to not be afraid, right? Like, I think that that's the other thing that these kinds of people do. It's like you, they prey off of our fears, our weaknesses, etc. Um, you know, and sometimes things just seem scarier than what they actually are. You know, it's that value of being able to overcome your fear, even if it does seem really scary. You've worked really, really hard. Um, for where you're at, make sure that you're not isolating yourself too much, you know? I feel like there is this need to get out, have a little bit of fun this week, you know, kind of enjoy this new beginning that you're on the horizon of. Definitely connect with friends, with community, people in your environment that really make you feel good and feel inspired. Uh, that, again, kind of taps back into this passion energy that we saw in the very beginning. And yeah, yeah, I mean, it's just like paying attention of what's around you. Um, you know, again, this kind of confirms. I understand why this might feel a little scary or, um, you know, untethering because it's basically like 
that's how this person plays off of you. But to me, it's like you've been there, done that. You know this energy and you're ready to let it go. And I actually feel like this is going to be a huge surprise to this person. Um, you know, they're watching you, right? They're they're watching, they're waiting, waiting for their chance, waiting for their moment, etc. Maybe even a little bit of spying on the internet. Um, you know, so just be conscious. You know, I feel like I feel like you've done the work, you've, you know, you're indulging who and what you want to be, and that really is the most important part this week. All right, Leo, ooh, excuse me. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you sending all the love and blessings. I'm so excited to see what is coming in for you. Um, I'm sending you all the power, all the, you know, um, fluidity to create your boundaries and really say no to the things that don't serve you anymore. Definitely give a big thumbs up if it resonated. Drop comments below. Let's build and grow our community. Thank you for all your time and energy. Sending love your way.